right, we are prepping for tonight's live feed. This is going to be the project. It's going to be this mixed with the American flag. Just want to go over how I did this. Or did this is the color image I went for? Well, black and white, but color. I went to Photoshop and I changed it to a black and gray, uh, and went to um, use the posterize section under image and made it basically a three color image, four color image. Just broke it down. So. Basically, I have my dark, my mid, and you know my lighter tone. So now I can cut paper templates, and, the, and I print out a few extras. And the best way I found is either obviously a cutting mats work great, but I use this um, Light Pad Pro. This was these aren't available anymore, but you can probably find them online. Uh, this was by Autograph, uh, but it's a glass top light table. And the reason why I like using a the glass for one, the blade. It's really easy for the blade to go on it, but it's also cool because you can see the cuts actually kind of light up when you go through, which makes it kind of cool. So I'm just gonna cut out some of the basic shapes of this. And this is probably going to time lapse. And then we'll go from there. So, yeah, it's just, you know, basically I isolate out some of the key elements of the piece. I don't go for like crazy perfect just because um, I just want the general placement of everything so I can, you know, just get it in there and I can register the rest freehand. It's just for registration and tone. Nothing's like staying that that color. And change your blade regularly. The only problem with the glass, it does tend to eat the blade a little bit more. Um, but see, it's nice because when you do finish a section, it just pops out nice and easy. And now you can see that light up right through it. So it's a nice way to work. All right, I'm just gonna keep at it and go to town. So right now I'm going in, I may not need these, but I'm doing it ahead of time just because this is for a feed, but this is for like the mid-tone and if I go too far with one color, I can always cut back in with like a medium, like white, like sepia tone color and just kind of carve a highlight back in, we'll just register its location. So I'm just going to do some of this and I'll do it if I need it during the feed. But I don't think I'm going to, well, there's some details like maybe I'll cut these out, these are the fins for the motor, for the cylinders. So maybe I'll use these to blow that in, but I don't think so. I think I'm just going to draw it on the board first and we'll go from there. So. This is this is going to be just for shading, um, but I am going to sketch this on the board and transfer it so I have it, you know, exact line up. Am I right? And that's all she wrote, kids. Do, do. Three main masks. That's all you really need to do the majority of it. So for tonight's feed. For this project, what I did is I have an aluminum panel that's been sealed 
and base coated with a tan. And then I did some grit and texture to it, various techniques as full finishing, just to make it so it's not a smooth, rough surface. You know, not a smooth surface overall. I'm gonna place this guy here because we're gonna have an American flag kind of rolling back off this. So we're gonna place them off to one side. I'm gonna tape it. Really go to the top so it's hinged up. What I'm gonna use is a piece of Sorel paper. You can get this at most craft stores. You can get it at large pieces. And it's basically like carbon paper. I'm gonna put this underneath. And then we're gonna just transfer with the pen. So the Sorel's on here. Sorry for the air conditioning noise. I'll have to probably just photo auto dub over this. And now I'm just gonna trace out the main design. Use a ballpoint pen. Then just check it. Make sure you're transferring. The key with this is I'm registering a lot of the detail that you normally couldn't see with the paper cut. This one I have something to go by. Because I downsampled the image so much that you don't really see a lot of this detail what it is. So now it'll be easier for me to see like the forks and all the little extra the stuff that's going on here and the cables and I'm not going to try to get everything but I'm going to try to get some more of the stuff Now these should all line up within reason. Yeah, they do. If I don't like something, there's a little bit there I don't like. I pull picture. Got to remove some of the excess. Go. And that is enough for me to work from. Cool.